We are engaged in an information war. Cyber war is going on in some sense right now. We need the capacity for the president to disconnect the American internet from all traffic. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression, online or offline. It has been evident that non-democratic countries extend repression to freedom of expression from the offline onto the online world. But are such countries the only one responsible for censoring and blocking online content? Numerous so-called consolidated democracies have been filtering and removing content, often under allegations of copyright infringement, hate speech, national security and cybercrime. But all too often, such actions end up criminalizing valid forms of expression, banning the diversity of opinions and disregarding the right to due process and privacy. This happens because countries employ regulations that tend to hold online intermediaries directly responsible for users' content. In this reality, intermediaries are forced to scrutinize all content in their networks and decide what can remain. But intermediaries are not legally qualified to take such decisions. For instance, differentiating between actual expressions of hate speech and common political criticisms. That's why they often find it safer to simply remove content or block entire sites than face legal prosecutions. In most cases, they do so without transparency or prior notification. Even worse, intermediaries' terms of services end up defining what is wrong or right for internet users to publish. They're practically redevising moral and political standards. We users have no saying or control whatsoever. This reality has created an ambiguous and unclear online environment where critical voices have been silenced by blockages, filtering and even detainments. As governments seek greater control and private corporations avoiding legal prosecution and maintaining profit, it is inevitable to ask, how free are we really to express ourselves?